Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you'll know that I did an initial review on the California Trimmer 20 inch classic reel mower. And that I've had a couple of months to actually use this machine. I wanted to do an in-depth review of my thoughts on this unit for homeowners, my pros and cons that I've found while using the machine, and I also talk about some accessories that I've added that I think make this a little bit better uh, for my particular situation. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the review. So right off the bat, I want to talk about the positives that I like about the California Trimmer 20 inch classic reel mower. And the one thing that I didn't really care for or opted for on this machine was the Honda GX120 engine. Before I owned a Honda engine, I really didn't understand the allegiance that the Honda owners really gave to the machines and also the engines that they were using. Now that I've owned a Honda engine for a couple of months, I completely understand where that allegiance comes from. It's a very strong motor. It starts on the first pull every time. And it also sips gas. This thing is very economical as far as the fuel consumption that it uses. Whenever I'm mowing with this real mower, I always double cut and on a full tank, I can double cut my entire front lawn four times on one tank of gas. The second thing I like about the California trimmer is the build quality. This thing is solid steel and it weighs almost 250 pounds. While it's a very small mower, it's built like a tank. And you can tell when you're using it, the, it, the, the mower is very rigid. It doesn't have a lot of give or play in any of the components. And if you've ever tried to work on one, you realize just how well it's built when you start taking it apart. The thing I like about this model, and I would encourage you if you're thinking about buying a California trimmer, is, is opt for the seven blade reel. The seven blade reel is gonna give you a better quality cut, especially if you're mowing at lower cutting heights. So by getting the seven blade reel and, and I'm mowing at about three quarters of an inch, I think it gives me an overall better cut quality. Bundled with the front, uh, the front roller on this mower, opposed to the wheels that come standard. The front mower, or the front roller actually helps you keep the front of the mower a little bit more level. If your lawn is not perfectly level, it'll help keep the mower on tilt so that it's not scalping into the grass. It also lays down some really street sweet stripes, which is one thing that I was not expecting from this machine is the way that it can stripe a lawn um, similar to kind of the more expensive machines, maybe some of the greens mowers that are out there. But don't be confused, this is not a greens mower, this is a real mower. So um, if you're thinking about going the greens mower route, probably look at Toro or John Deere. If you're looking at real mowers, you've got the California Trimmer, the Swordman, and the Allet, the McLean, and the True Cut, all sort of in this category. Another really big selling point for me for this particular mower was the height of cut adjustment. This simple height of cut bar, as you can see, I can do this with one hand really was a big selling point for me in looking at this mower because I wanted to have a mower that was easy to adjust the height of cut and I didn't have to have any special tools or equipment in order to do that. And this is something that really didn't make a whole lot of difference to me, although if I had the option to make this configuration any different, I would have this full rubber uh, roller. I would have it go across the entire backside of the mower and eliminate these wheels. Although what I found in using the mower is that these wheels, these rubber wheels on each side, really makes it easy for me to transport the mower from the garage to the front lawn. So it's kind of a give or take. You have to really kind of take the good with the bad when you're looking at your options for the rear rollers. Like I said, I do wish they made a full rear roller for this. That may be something that California Trimmer could consider sometime in the future, but for right now, this is really your only option. Another thing that I really like about this mower and its ease of use is the ability to check the reel the bed knife clearance just by simply using these rods on each side of the mower all you need is a adjustable wrench and you can turn these in a clockwise manner to tighten the reel the bed knife clearance or if you go counterclockwise you'll actually loosen the reel the bed knife clearance so you can check the ability of the reel the bed knife to cut paper underneath the mower having said that one of the challenges to checking the reel, the bed knife clearance on the California trimmer is that most users are accustomed to tipping the mower back whenever you want to check the reel, the bed knife clearance. The problem with this configuration that I have is the Honda mower on the GX engines, you are not supposed to tip these engines back too far or you can cause damage to the pistons. 
So what you have to do is, one, you can order an accessory from California Trimmer that will allow you to tip the front of the mower up. Those, uh, those stands, I believe, are about $30 uh, for the kit. If you own one of these mowers and you've done this before, you'll know that there is a workaround for that. And I made these stands out of the remaining lumber that was left over from the pallet that the mower came in. And this is how you use those in order to check the reel to bed knife clearance. So that actually was one of the cons for me, is that when I wanted to check the reel to bed knife clearance, you cannot spin the reel without spinning the rear roller at the same time. So you have to make a way for you to be able to lift that rear roller off the ground to be able to check your reel to bed knife clearance, or else if you move the reel, the mower actually wants to scoot while, while you're checking that. However, this was a free modification that I made using the pallet that the mower was shipped on, so it's not really a big deal, it's a small complaint, but for the most part, it works out really, really well. Earlier in the review, I mentioned these rubber tires that are on the mower, and they make it actually really easy for you to transport the mower on concrete to get it out to the lawn. The downside to these to these wheels is that when you're mowing, it actually leaves you know ruts that are in the lawn that if there was a rear roller on the back, it probably would eliminate those ruts in the grass as you're cutting. But whenever you're actually looking at the lawn closely, you can see the wheel marks in the turf. It's more noticeable, especially if you're mowing low. In the intro to the video, I mentioned a couple of accessories that I've added to the mower just to sort of offset some of the things that I thought could be improved. And the number one thing that was a big deal for me was the height of the handlebars. I did install the four inch handle extension on this mower. As you can see from this bracket down here on the camera, this, there is an extra bracket that goes into the mower body itself. And it allows the handles to set up four inches higher when I first got the mower, I felt like I was bending down when I was using this machine. Now, I'm only five foot ten, so I can imagine for somebody who is taller than me, um, it would really be a big problem for someone that was mowing with the handlebar set that low. The other modification I made is a the one of the most common complaints about this mower is that sometimes, if you're not careful, the rear drum can actually dig into the grass a little bit and tear up some of the turf. One of the ways you get around that is you t put some more tension on this chain and it allows the rear roller to lift up a little bit higher. California Trimmer is actually in the process of producing these um, accessories that you can use to add some tension into the chain. So it actually lifts the roller up a little bit higher and you can adjust that based on your personal preference. So I went ahead and installed this on my machine and one thing I can say is that I noticed a drastic improvement in being able to turn and not tear up any of the turf with this mower, given that my grass is still really young. Um, it's not quite hardened off quite yet, so it does tear up easily. This was a big deal for me because the rubber roller at times, if I wasn't paying attention, would tear up the turf a little bit. All right, so we talked a lot about the pros and the cons of the mower. Let's talk about price. Now, when I was looking at the different models of real mowers that were available, uh, not so much greens mowers, but actually real mowers, what caught my eye was the price of the California trimmer. In this particular setup I have with the Honda engine and the front roller, which are both upgrades, this machine would retail for about $1,500 shipped. That compares to the McLean at about the same price and the True Cut, which is a little bit more expensive. The Swordman and the Allet are gonna be close to twice the price of this machine. So taking into consideration some of the pros and cons to this machine, the price point is really a big winner for the California trimmer. And as far as if I would suggest this mower to the homeowner that wants to get into real mowing, absolutely I think I would. Um, it's a great en entry level mower in my opinion that has a commercial build quality to it, but it allows the homeowner, the homeowner a little bit more functionality that they're accustomed to on a rotary style mower opposed to a, um, a greens mower that might be a little bit more difficult or a learning curve to get used to over time. So if you are someone that's considering making a jump from the rotary to a real cut lawn, I would suggest the California trimmer as an entry point for you uh, to sort of get used to, to figure out if it's something that you really like and that you really want to do uh, as far as real mowing. I think this is a great option at the entry level. I think for the, the cut quality and the build quality and the overall feature set that you get with this mower, I think it's a great option. 
So I really hope that you enjoyed this review. And if you did, please consider subscribing and liking this video for more information and more features on the California Trimmer Real Mower. And with that, I'll see you all in the next one.